Good morning, Reapers. I'm Daniel. This is Coralus, and we are back from vacation feeling better than ever. Check this out. One of my favorite tanks here. I'm just dying to put water in here, but I'm trying to resist because I know somebody's going to want this tank the second they see it. So I'm going to try to resist for a little bit longer, but if you guys come back a week later, I may have these set up and filled with water. So uh, quick, quick update. Look what we have here. Christian is unboxing the brand new Red Sea LED. So we are going to be doing a unboxing and test this thing out. And look at it right here, it says Reef Spec. So they know these Red Sea tanks are for reefers. So I want to see what did they do and what do they bring to the table with these lights. Now, if you see over the top of here, we have some of the most powerful lights, the Orfix over here. And then right next to it, on the other side of the Battling Peninsulas, the Red Sea Peninsulas, we have these massive, massive rails set up with the Ecotech XR15 Pros. So this tank is just built to be an SPS beast. So that's not for every reefer, but those of you who know what I'm trying to accomplish can appreciate it. So this is gonna eventually be all SPS and these hammers and euphilias and LPS are gonna get moved over to this side. So as we keep giving you updates on the systems, I know their uh, Red Sea Facebook page. I really wanna get in there and start answering questions for people and becoming a part of that group. But right off the bat, just check this out. We masked up on this side the Red Sea protein skimmer with the Bashi uh, reactor. And you can see those things going hand in hand and working well together. So we gave that a little bit of an upgrade. And over here with the power packs, I did install some of these, which are great. These are like the audio amplifier organizers and they work really well for management. Um, so, all right, Christian, so what do we have? That's no light. Look at that thing. Is that one big LED or a whole bunch yeah, of them? it looks like one big one or maybe a whole bunch of them be Wow. Needed. So this is metal. Does it feel like it's aluminum, it's plastic? Metal. Yeah, it could be plastic. I think this top is metal and then this is plastic. Now it looks like it has a lot of room for cooling, which is pretty nice. Yeah. The problem with LEDs, they are absolutely amazing, powerful. They're not like a metal halide bulb. But to give them the power they need, they have to have some type of um, cooling for the heat because that power heats up quick. So you'll see a lot of these things, they build radiators into the light housing, which is pretty cool. So can't wait to test that out. Christian does have one of their mounting brackets and everyone has a unique mounting system. I mean, when you look at the AIs over here, um, these goosenecks are really cool. I really like these lights and they come in handy for shows, for anywhere pretty much, but I just love the flexibility of these things. Um, you know, something a little bit more permanent like these top mount rails, uh, but at the same time you can slide them if you need to. So that's what I did when I added all this rock is amazing, but it blocks a lot of room for light to penetrate and bounce off the sand bed. So that's one of the reasons why we had to increase and double the LEDs, just so we could give uh, both sides of the tank enough lighting. So, <clears throat> all right, so we're back with Christian. He's got it out the box already, and it looks like it's an aluminum rail, anodized black. Yes, it is. And it could be their own unique tubing. So just from looking at the box right away, it looks like it fits inside, so. Here. Pretty heavy duty. You're not going to bend that. You're going to crack your tank yeah. before this breaks. But I can't wait to plug these in. So as Christian's going through this, there's also one more thing here, which is pretty cool. Um, and these are all new products, guys. So not many people have had a chance to see these or even um, experience these other than the internet. So this is a tray for the light, which is really cool for mounting. If you're gonna do like a combination system, you could drop this in there. And that's, that's a nice feature. But what we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna take you guys in the back and show you we're working on setting up two new tanks. This one here, I'm absolutely in love with carpet and enemies. And I just don't like leaving them in this bucket over here. Um, 
So what I'm gonna actually do is take them out and we're gonna set up a beautiful system over here and I'm gonna try one of those new Red Sea lights on here. So one of the things I do is test out all the different brands and you can see I already have a Prime HD over here and that is the Freshwater Edition, but we're gonna swap that out. So, so you can see how powerful they really are. Now, something like this has some massive, massive um, power. The XR15 will cover a lot of distance, so that is maybe too much light for this tank, but when you actually see what too much light looks like versus not enough, you always want too much light. <laughs> So, how's it coming along, Christian? A couple more minutes, I'll be done. Nice. Together, simple, very simple. A couple screws, and you're done. So that's going to look really, really good. And I want to test out the user capabilities with that lighting. Um, I know everyone has their own unique interface. AI has the Wi-Fi built in, which is really nice. That's always been a huge uh, decision factor for me. And Ecotech has some amazing features as well, and I'll explain them more in a later video. So, this is our mushroom tank, and this is where all the balances are, jaw breakers and stuff. But I'm gonna switch this Prime, even though I love it, back over to the XR15, just because I wanna go all out. Um, and my 24 karat gold balance, I need to brighten that up and bring some color back. But that's one of my favorite, favorite corals. Um, so yeah, so there you guys go. That's my update. It's now six minutes in. Uh, stay tuned for more. The raffles we will be ending, I think, after the Mason Dixon swap at that Lancaster, at that pet place in Lancaster this weekend. When I get back, so maybe Sunday we'll do the raffles. So anyone who's interested, get in now. We have a bunch of goodies that we're gonna be giving away and raffling. So make sure you check them out. There is an Ecotech light, and there's some salt, and there's tanks. Um, so it's gonna be a good time. But any of you who are close to that pet place, please come and see us. I am bringing some crazy new corals for you guys, and they will be on display. So looking forward to it. Let me see, let me see, anything else? Am I missing? We did get in the um, axolotas, the actual genetically modified glow-in-the-dark axolotas, and I showed them on Instagram and Facebook, so if you guys are regular fans of that, you should see them on there. So if you haven't checked them out, you need to go over and see them on Instagram, but these guys, if I put the light on them, they glow green. Um, you know what? Let me go see. My light is over here. I know you guys are gonna want to see that. Don't get dizzy. Okay. This is my special Orphix spotlight. So let's see if we can see him in here. See a green guy? Nope, that's the white albino. Up oh, there's the green guy, he's in the back. So you can see the light, he's glowing. How cool is that? I don't know if the flashlight is showing for you guys, but it's ridiculous. Now there's a lot of light in the store right now and I can still see that green glowing. Wow. <laughs> Talk about cool. So that's a genetically modified axolotl. See him right there in the back, glowing green. And then here's the black one over here, very special. Let's see if he does it. His belly is glowing. It's hard to see it, but he's got um, only certain parts of him. His eyes are glowing. Um, his belly, it's hard to show him on camera. You can see the reflection of him glowing underneath his belly, which is kind of cool. So, but there you guys go. Stay tuned for more of the Axolotl Babies. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing.